You can't resist. The resistor ball is a great investment. There are a number of exercises you can do with a resistor ball. Okay. Uh, they have them in a lot of gyms. Okay. So, but I, I do core exercises, leg exercises, arm exercises. I'm just going to go over a few things, a few exercises that uh, you can do. All right. You do crunches. Okay. Elbows back. Exhale when you come up. Okay. Works the abs. You can also work the obliques. Switch it up. Alternate side. Okay, you can work the uh, the back. Okay, different ways you can do Superman's. You can come here. Okay, work the lower back, tighten the glutes, back straight. And also, you want to make sure your feet are wide enough, have wide enough base. Okay, hands on your head. Okay, another technique is elbows towards your rib cage. Okay, head facing forward. Tighten the glutes. Okay, so it works the lower back and glutes. All right. You can also do another ab exercise. This works your abs and also your lats. Okay, you have your arm out straight and you roll out. Real good for the abs. And depending on your fitness level, you may not be able to go all the way out. So if you're not, your core is not as strong, just come to how far as you can and come back. Okay. Uh, another exercise, inner thighs, and lower abs. Okay, hands underneath. Okay, some people have their hands underneath, some people have their hands right here. Keep your stomach drawn in and up, try not to embrace. Okay, work your inner thighs, lower abs. Exhale when you come up. You can also switch it up by doing circles, doing some clockwise, and then counterclockwise. Okay? Another thing you can do is make curls work in the hamstrings. Also work your core. Bring the hips up. Keep the hips up, tighten the glutes, the hamstrings, and now you're working the hamstrings. Okay? You can also do push-ups, depending on your fitness level. The further you go out, the harder it is. Okay? And if you want to bring the abs in, you can come like this one. More advanced. It's a compound exercise. 